we're joined with a, a great panel of guests who's uh, going to share with us more about a recent um, Chuuk relief drive that happened in the Sinai. Um, we'll start with Masuda, uh, First Lady, and go, go down the line. Uh, if you could just introduce your full name, um, any information you feel is relevant, and uh, the organization or uh, 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 the affiliation you have uh, to this relief drive. Uh, so Masuda, we can start with you. Thank you, Thomas, for having us. Uh, I'm Alfreda Suda. I was designated by um, own uh, Cholime, the Achuk CNMI Association president to work with these wonderful ladies um, on initiating the uh, relief drive. And I'm glad to be part of this panel tonight. First lady. Half a day again, Tomas, thanks for having us. Um, I am Diane Tudelo Torres. I am first lady of the CNMI and the president of the Lady Diane Torres Foundation. Um, it has been brought up to our attention that um, there's some uh, disaster uh, happening in Chuuk. So we figured, hey, um, let's go ahead and try to put together something for our families and our friends um, over in Chuuk. So, um, of course, we've communicated with our friends and our colleagues, our partners, and and then the relief drive was, you know, put into full force. So, um, but we'll, we'll save the details. Um, maybe Claude can share the details. Thank you. All right, and just going down my screen here, Grace, and then uh, Claudia, just some introductions. Maybe Grace can go there. Okay. Hi, I'm Grace Sublan Bayangae, and I am currently uh, detailed over to the governor's office under Community Outreach Affairs. And thank you, uh, Tomas Magloni, for having all of us here. And uh, I am the uh, designated coordinator with this under the Chief of Staff's office to work closely with uh, Lady D uh, Foundation, along with Miss Claudia, and of course, our Atric Association, which we're, we're very privileged. So coordination of this event all started with, of course, our actual president, Mr. Ohm, uh, visiting the governor's office and stressing just the dire need of the outer islands of Chuuk, Mortlocks, uh, along with the Northwest, Ms. Suda, if you can correct me on that. Uh, back in, of course, 2021, the, the high rise and also, you know, what is known as the king tide that has affected all of these islands. So, uh, an coordination was requested and that's how everybody got together and thankfully our Lady D Foundation spearheaded this along with our Atric Foundation and um, I'm just pretty much just uh, getting the networks together connecting people to get this uh, off the ground. And Claudia? Hi good afternoon thank you for having us on your show. So I'm Claudia Flores and I am the secretary for the Lady Diane Torres Foundation. I also am working under the Office of the Governor, um, under the Women's Affairs Office as the program coordinator. And um, I've been with the Lady Diane Torres Foundation also as a volunteer as well, and um, not just a secretary, but um, I represent the First Lady. All right, wonderful. Thank you all for making time uh, this afternoon. Uh, we'll go ahead and dive right in. And Masuda, maybe we can start with you for those of us uh, on Guam and in the NMI who might uh, be wondering what exactly is happening in Chuk uh, that will um, uh, that the need is there. Uh, can you give us some background on what exactly is happening and why this uh, need is important? All right, uh, thank you, Tomas. Um, yes, um, Grace uh, mentioned that it. Um, in early December through uh, mid-January, um, there was a king tide that flooded basically Facebook, social media, everywhere. Um, and it was pretty much the, um, the news of that time. And um, we were affected even though uh, emotionally, we were affected emotionally while li um, be living here in Saipan. And sure enough, um, it was, a appeal that our Atshuk president um, approached the office of the governor to uh, initiate a drive to help alleviate the food insecurity of the islands in the Mortlocks, that's upper, mid, and lower Mortlocks, and northwest, um, that's Namun, Pati, Namun, Weito, and Pafen. These are low lying um, islands. And if the Lagoon Islands, would be flooded with the salt water, salt water sea level rise. Sure enough, the flat 
already flat lowing islands would have already been uh, like knee high uh, length of um, water. So their, uh, their staple food crops, I could totally imagine that it's already been um, inundated with salt water. So this response is just basically um, a token or a way of um, connecting back to our roots, uh, letting them know that despite the distance, uh, we still care for the community. And this is one way that we as a community here in Saipan, um, um, living in Saipan with the wonderful community of Sienamai, um, are appreciative of our connection. So we, uh, we made this drive, the drive was made possible through the uh, collaborative efforts of many individuals. Thank you. All right, thank you, Ms. Suda. President Owen just uh, joining us now. Uh, I know you're just getting on the call, but did you want to um, provide some uh, background as to uh, the urgency of this drive and uh, your response to uh, the outpouring of support from the community and the NMI? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Damas, for having me and uh, the team. Hello, everyone. Hey, good afternoon, President. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, I think uh, what I'm going to say is just the same as everyone says. Uh, we ju we're just so overwhelmed with the community and the helps that we receive for the three days, past three days. It's, I myself cannot explain. Oh, I really thank the community to come out and show their support. And uh, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, uh, First Lady. Your team, the team is just so awesome. And uh, I don't know, I cannot explain myself to really thank you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I think that's all I can say for now. Yes, thank you, Owen. And uh, Ms. Suda, this was supposed to be just a one day, but it turned into three days. Uh, can you tell us just yeah. how you feel about that? And um, I can imagine the logistics of this, but you filled one 40-foot container? That's correct. Um, so um, it was originally planned for a one day event. And with the outpouring love from the CNMI community and by word of mouth, we were able to fill up almost halfway uh, the first day. So instead of ask, asking the community to help us fill up the container, the, do the grateful donors actually asked for extension. So um, by the end of day one, uh, we were being approached, a few of us were approached and um, we only had the pavilion for one day. So those were some of the challenges we had yet to face, but, and we were, I said, we can, but we, we have, everything reserved for only one day. So that evening we were rushing, like not only to close it, but arrange the last minute logistics, it's difficult. So we're trying to uh, call it, uh, the people who helped at the many different agencies, the partners that um, helped us with the logistics of day one, because we were, we were preparing, we wanted to say yes, but we just didn't wanna give that easy yes, just yet, without making those logistical arrangements. And day two came, and then yet few donors came. Ah, oh, we're not ready for today, we didn't know. Can you give us until uh, tomorrow by, by 11? And the cutoff time for us to have the container, it was supposed to be picked up around 11, Claudine, right? 1.30. 1.30. And then, yeah. and so we extended it to four o'clock and uh, we were getting messages like, oh, there we need 
there's a lot of last minute stuff that the third day that there, that that's just an evidence of the support that the community cnmi community um is giving us over the past three days and um thanks to claudine who stuck to the drive from day one day two day three she's the superwoman to um because i have all of us had to come back to work on um monday and thank you claudine for making uh, uh sticking by us and making sure that uh, we had the event until four o'clock on monday thank you so much <laughs>
they have our back and it's more of like a community effort. And do you know when they're expected to receive the container? So like uh, Mr. Student mentioned, um, it's either June 5th or, the, or June 6th. Grace, did you want to just, uh, um, as we wrap up, provide any comments about the drive and the community's response? Sure. You know, I just want to say that, um, you know, of course, our Governor Ralph Torres and Lady D Foundation have established that diplomatic relationship with the FSM. You know, and I'd like to just say uh, the overflow and just the community coming together that day really shows that the CNMI has a good relationship because not true, but we also have other islands that came out and supported and then the business community donated. You know, you're talking about donations that, that range from 99 to about 10,000. People were just generously pouring into this. The minute they heard relief effort, they all came out. Of course, we had the ads, the advertisement out in the radio. So the community came together and that's a good thing about it because we do have a strong relationship with our FSM brothers and sisters. And we've always had that. And, and we're very grateful that our president own um, reached out to the governor and the chief of staff and, and asked, you know, on behalf of the uh, Chukis community here that they'd like to help their brothers and sisters back home. So that appeal, everybody came together and, you know, Claudia is very humble, but I tell you, she is the expert when it comes to community outreach, especially for the Women's Affairs and the Lady D Foundation. She coordinates drives anywhere. I mean, if you've noticed the magnet, the YouTube, anything, she has always been there to put uh, community outreach together. So I'd say we're just one of the fortunate ones that are able to come alongside her and the Lady D Foundation to really learn from her and give back to the community. So it is a community effort. It's all about collaboration and it's all about uh, really sharing that one Pacific love. United as Micronesians, Chamorro, Carolinians, Chukis, Panapans, you name it. So we're very, we're very grateful, uh, President Owen and uh, Secretary uh, Ms. Suda, just for this diplomatic relationship have with the FSM. And we'd like to continue that as Governor Torres uh, emphasizes on diplomatic relationships for with the FSM. So I'd like to just say that and thank you, Tomas, for yeah allowing us to come on and, and share that. And we'd like to say that we, we will continue. This is not going to be the first. We will continue. All right. Is, uh, would anyone else like to add uh, before we wrap up here? Or um, if not, um, thank um, you for your time. Yes. Yes. First lady, would you like to go? Uh, yeah, I, I just want to um, send a, a shout out to the Marianas High School Micronesian Cultural Club. Um, their members and the advisors, these um, young ladies came out and, and stayed under the sun with their signs, you know, gearing up uh, drivers and, and passerbys to come in and, and share some love for our Chukas community. So shout outs to MCC Club MHS. Thank you. And of course, to all our donors and our sponsors. Thank you. And Claudia, did you want to add something? Um, yeah, just thank you to our major sponsors, um, our collaborating uh, agencies, government, non-government, businesses, you know, private businesses, um, our volunteers, and uh, individual uh, those that made uh, donations, you know, for the those past three days. It's been very um, overwhelming and uh, very touchy. For me, it's very emotional too, because even if it's, um, I kind of feel that one love, whether you're in, a, you know, um, in the Pacific, um, wherever, whatever ethnicity you come from, um, when there's this relief, you really feel that, that one hearted, um, you can really feel the community coming out and helping, um, all for the love of the people and, everyone just um, working together to make it a successful one. Yeah, so thank you to our um, partners, uh, collaborating agencies, volunteers, um, all the uh, 
uh, individuals that helped out make this a very successful uh, relief drive. All right. I want to thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I want to thank all of you for your time and uh, hope to be in touch moving ahead. Um, Owen, did you want to uh, give the last word here? Yes, please. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Before we uh, split up, I just wanted to extend out <clears throat> a message from uh, Governor Narun just before I knock off from work today. He wanted to extend his uh, really uh, appreciation to everyone. And uh, he's looking forward to come over and uh, meet meet each and every one of us here. Yeah. And uh, please uh, keep that in mind. Hopefully you will come and visit us soon. And uh, lastly, uh, shout out to my community, Chugis community that uh, came out and really showed their support on that on those three days. Thank you so much.